hello friends welcome back in this tutorial we will study about ram chip and rom chip so first of all we will study about ram chip now let us consider a ram chip of 128 bytes it means that this ram chip has 128 words and each word contains one byte or each word contains eight bits We know that 128 is equal to 2 raised to the power 7. So to address 2 raised to the power 7 words, we need address of 7 bits. So here in this case, the address will be of 7 bits. Now let us see the chip diagram. See this is a RAM chip which is uh, capable of storing 128 bytes so it has two chip select inputs cs1 and cs2 bar it has one read input line and it has one write input line rd means read input wr means write input and it has seven bits address input right Now how the read and write operations are performed on this RAM chip. First of all, this chip should be enabled by chip select inputs. So to enable this chip, the chip select inputs should be 10, right? This uh, input CS1, it should be 1. And uh, this chip select input CS2 bar, it should be 0, right? So to enable this chip, the chip select inputs are 1, 0, right? Now, suppose we have to perform the read operation. So, to perform the read operations, this uh, read input line should be enabled, right? And the address should be provided at this 7-bit address input, right? So, what happens when this chip is enabled by these chip select inputs and address is provided at uh, this 7-bit uh, address input and uh, this uh, read input line is enabled then what will happen whatever the content is stored in this memory at that address which is specified at this 7 bit address input that content is transferred from this memory to data bus it means whatever the content is stored in this memory at this address which is provided at 7 bit address input that content is read right now how the write operation is performed so again to perform write operation this uh, chip should be enabled through chip select inputs right when the chip select inputs are 10 then chip is enabled and to perform write operation the write input should be enabled right and uh, where the write operation is performed that address should be provided at this 7 bit address input right so what happened in this case whatever the content is uh, on data bus it will be stored in this memory at the address which is provided at this 7 bit address input right let us consider a rom chip suppose this rom chip is capable of storing 512 bytes it means uh, that uh, this uh, rom chip has 512 memory locations or 512 words and each word contains 8 bits right 8 bits means 1 byte so let us see the diagram of this ROM chip in this ROM chip we can perform only read operation so here we do not need to specify separate read or write inputs right so it has only two chip select inputs cs1 and cs2 bar right these chip select inputs will enable this chip now in this rom chip there are 512 locations 512 is equal to 2 raised to power 9 so in this rom chip there are 2 raised to power 9 locations so to address these 2 raised to the power 9 locations, the address should be of 9 bits. 
so apart from these two chip select inputs this rom chip has 9 bit address input also right so how the read operation is performed first of all this chip should be selected or this chip should be enabled through chip select inputs so to enable this chip what happens this input cs1 should be 1 and this input cs2 bar it should be 0 right and 9 bit address should be provided at this input so what will happen when this chip is enabled and a 9 bit address is provided as as input then whatever the content is stored in this room at uh, this in provided address uh, which is uh, provided here as an input whatever the content is stored at that address that will be read from this row right